Other Yellow Hat Guy here, back with another video. And this is part two of what should have just been one video, but I felt like it should have its own space. So last time we left off, I was talking about the games that I enjoyed this year. They didn't necessarily come out this year, but I played them for the most part this year and finished them. Uh, if I didn't finish them, I played them most of the way through, right? That's what I was trying to say. So we talked about the good ones, so check out that if you want to know what my top five were there. Now we're talking about the bad ones, yeah? And I'm pretty good at researching games. I watch a lot of other YouTubers read, you know, the, the blogs, the magazines, and what have you, to avoid stuff like that. But every now and then, I get games that just off of a whim, you know, you're not supposed to judge a book by its cover, but just off of a whim, I'm like, hey, that sounds like it's fun, and it's on sale. Uh, let me check it out. And then there are games that other people like, but I just might not, it might not be for me, and I bought it not knowing what I was getting into and was massively disappointed. Now, um, I didn't play Overwatch 2, I did not play Calistro Protocol, nor did I play this new game by the guy who made Rick and Morgan. I would like to try that out, but I could be disappointed. I watched Gameplay of both that and Callistra Protocol just haven't got around to those yet. I know that people have their lists where they're like, did you check that out? What'd you think? Some say it was great, some say, mm. But uh, let's go with, let's start out with this list here. So we talked Kirby last video, and I can't tell you if I've ever played a bad Kirby game. I can't tell you that this is a bad Kirby game. But what I will tell you is I didn't have the fun with it I thought I would. Kirby's Dream Buffet at number five. It's probably one of the bad games, or the games I didn't like, excuse me, this year. Why can't I say it's bad? Well, I enjoyed Fall Guys, and that's what this is. So it's fun in these little spurts, but playing by yourself, which I know was not the objective in this, it just, it's not there. I gotta have a single player to appreciate it and if other people don't want to spend the $15 to play it, then you don't really have much of a game. It's kind of like some of these other games where they're all server-based, and as soon as the server shuts down because of non-activity, you've, you've, you've got a paperweight. So, Dream Buffet, maybe if that was a $5 purchase? Different conversation. More people would be playing it, and maybe I'd still be playing it myself. But I was very hyped for it. I was trying to get other people to join in, and other people looked at it and was like, "Nah, I don't really need, I don't really need a sprite swap with Fall Guys." And to be fair, it's not exactly everything Fall Guys. It's just the mechanics of it are right. All right, so let's move on from that to uh, my next pick, uh, Pokemon Scarlet. Pokemon Scarlet, I have not played it all the way through yet, but the little bit that I did play, it didn't keep me hooked into the game. So I won't say that it's bad yet. I will say I'm disappointed with it. Kind of like Kirby. Kirby, I felt like I played enough to understand it. I played through all the modes, but I'm still at the surface of Scarlet. And, you know, the graphics are one thing. The, um, the, the hand-holding, the dialogue just kind of pushed me back. I'm like, we're in 2022, and y'all couldn't do a little bit of voice acting? Like a hey, a hi, hello. Everything is blocks of text, blocks of text. And um, I expect that from the remakes of, you know, some of the older Game Boy games. But this, this is... It... it, it, it it was a step forward, a step backward. The positive is, hey, you can play with people online, and it's not going to be one of these games where people aren't going to get it. I did get the Scarlet version, and kind of wish I got the Violet version, but it is what it is. So uh, that game right there, I'm putting as a game that I got that I did not, I did not really enjoy that so far. Okay. So, next on my list for games that I checked out that I played this year and did not give my full attention to. 
All right, so I'm going to put Switch Sports. I know, I know. I was hyped for that. I was really looking forward to playing bowling again. That was my main draw for that. And I'm going to say, you know, some people say, oh, the bowling on Wii Sports was better than Switch Sports. I'm going to disagree with that. I felt like the bowling, it, it could only be better uh, with the online capability and to play with more people different lanes. I feel like when the Wii Boat came out, and there was nothing else like it at the time, and you were playing bowling, and how natural that felt, or you know how smooth that felt. Now you feel like it should be natural, and you should be used to that on the Switch console. And maybe for some people, it's not, but for me it was. But that was the only thing. That was the only thing. I say that to say you have volleyball, which can be fun, but these games show you. It's about the people that you play with, not necessarily the game itself. It felt like there were all kinds of bots that were showing up and playing. I cannot confirm or deny it. But that's how it felt for me. Uh, and then the death knell was they finally put out the golf game, right? There's like five or six games where the other Wii versions or the Wii counterparts, they pretty much had like maybe a dozen games on there, mini games. So you look at a game like, um, what's what's the 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 classic? There's like a um, clubhouse games, which had like 51 games or something like that. That had more content to offer, and maybe it was cheaper. And I enjoyed that for what it was at the time. It's just not a lot of other people got it. So, hey. You just, you, 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 I guess you expect more from Nintendo when it's got their name on it and it's a first party title, right? So, uh, moving on from that, we've got two more games, two more games. And I'm sitting here moving my eyes around because one of these games, I'm like, is it really, is it really worse than this other game or or not like how how are you really how are you really feeling about it and, and it's it's really tough because like the other games that I said hey they're not bad I just don't think I they're for me or I didn't enjoy them so that's a that's a that's a, a great area right it's like, just because something you didn't enjoy doesn't make it a bad game. Which is which is true. You know, some people probably would say Scarlet's not bad. It, it's uh, decent. It's just that you expect the Pokemon games to be A1. So this is probably, you know, a B. Or maybe a C+. Plus, so now it's a bad game, right? The excuse here with Kirby is, you know, you know what, Kirby, this is a spin-off game. This is not a mainline franchise game. So how could you put that in there? Hey, it was still good money spent there. And then we've got Switch Sports, which is not bad, but for that price, mm, I, I can't sit here, I can't sit here and say that that is what what consists of, of my expectation. Alright, so the penultimate two. Mario Strikers Battle League. It was tough to really say that because I'm playing a Mario game on the bad list and I'm Team Mario above pretty much almost all franchises. Uh, but it has to be said for me. And I know people are going to disagree. Um, and, and it's not a bad game. It's just not a good game. It's an okay game. And it was disappointing for me. You've got Strikers Charge, which came out on GameCube. And I know I have some friends and I have other people who will point out to me, well, it had the same score. Both games did. And a lot of people love that Strikers Battle League. This game, like Switch Sports and others, where, you know... Uh, the push was to play online. 
I still needed that single player mode to push me. And uh, it just wasn't really hitting. So they did offer DLC for that. Nintendo's getting better about off offering some DLC. They've given some to what? Um, that Mario Party Superstars? Or, I'm sorry, that's the good game. That needs DLC. Super Mario Party is the one that they gave DLC to. Like, they, I think they gave like an online mode or something. Maybe they didn't give DLC. My point is, Nintendo's not afraid now to patch games and add features to them well after their life cycle. And they've done that with Mario Strikers. Um, I just... I wanted to like that game. I was feeling like it was about time for another Mario sports title. This one just... It just wasn't hitting. They have a demo out there, and the demo was like, okay, maybe it's more enjoyable if you bought the actual game. I was able to get the game and check it out for the low. Went to a pawn shop and got it for maybe a few bucks, but uh, it just didn't grab me. Now, what game could I say that I played and it's definitely a bad game? Peaky Blinders. That's probably... So again, earlier I said, hey, there's games that you can play that you get that aren't necessarily for you, might be for spouse, loved one, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. Not really something you're interested in, but you check it out for them. As a YouTuber, there are games that I'm not heavily interested in, but I check them out for the audience, right? Peaky Blinders was trash. Uh, I know some of you are like, well, you can look at that and see that. And this is no disrespect, somebody put their hard-earned time, energy, into developing and creating this game. There were voices, they, a lot of times you get TV and movies uh, licenses and they try to keep it fresh with, you know, having the actual cast members' voices and what have you. This game was just bad all around. It was just bad all around. And just to let you know the actual name, Peaky Blinders Mastermind is the one I'm looking at here on my OLED. Don't pick up that game. It was bad. So I don't normally do bad lists. Here we normally do what I actually like. And I talk about that in addition to things that are going on in my life. But I wanted to switch it up as we go into the next year. And I know I spent more time talking about the games I didn't like and why. And trying to filibuster where certain games should go on my list. But uh, hopefully you enjoy it. And maybe we'll have more lists to come. See you in the next one. Other Yellow Eye guys out. Captain Sensation!